record to the cloud. Perfect. So, hope you can see me all well. We're gonna start with a bit of breathing. We had actually full moon on Sunday, so we'll try to do some release through the practice, and the release will come through um, deep exhalations. So let's just start uh, with a bit of activating our heart chakra. So rubbing the palms together as much as you can, like when we got at the end of the class, to create some energy in, in between your hands. And you are gonna connect. So place the hands on your heart. You can bring the chin in gently. So you are either looking towards your uh, ankles or you can close your eyes and take a few long deep breaths in and out. So maybe two or three long deep breaths in and out. And just feeling into your body, feeling into your heartbeat and feeling into the core, the center of you. Really reconnecting with the real you. Breathing deeply. And then when you're ready, you can very softly, gently open your eyes and we are gonna be releasing. So we are gonna on inhale, placing the hands towards your heart. On inhale, reach up, stretch. And then on exhale, release, touch the ground with the fingertips. And let's go again, inhale, shooting up, reaching up, lengthen and stretch. And then exhale, nice and strong, stretch, release. And let's do a couple more. Big inhale, reach up, stretch. Big exhale, stretch towards the ground, touch the floor. And again, last time, big inhale, reach up, lengthen. And then big exhale, release down. Beautiful. Now starting with nice and easy side stretch. Extend the left arm to the side, the right arm up, and very gently over and back to the center. So very slowly progressing the side stretch here. So to the center, and then fully over, nice slow movement, maybe a couple more. And each time you take it to the side, you feel how you stretch more. And then very gently release. So let's do the other side. So just nice and easy side stretch. Inhale up and exhale to the side. And then with inhalation, lift. And with exhale, release and stretch. Inhale, nice and easy lift. And exhale, stretch and extend. Last time, inhale. And exhale, very gently lower and release. Now we will do nice and easy stretch side twist. So lifting the right knee, placing the right foot next to your knee and very gently hug the knee in. So we are just starting, so you want to go really easy. You can just be using the knee to lift yourself up or you can extend the arm to the back and slightly over to give yourself a deeper stretch. Try to keep the toes of the extended legs straight up or point it. And start nice and easy, so super gentle movement and breathing. See if you can really inhale fully into your abdomen, exhale super deeply. Couple more breaths in and out. Maybe you can expand and you can go teeny tiny bit further to feel a deeper stretch, but don't collapse back. Think of lifting through the crown of your head. So you're opening the chest to the side. And then when you're ready, slowly, gently, very gently release. Before we go for the other side, bend your knees, hug yourself under the knees and see maybe you can separate the feet and bring the head in between your knees. Start to feel the stretch in the muscles along the spine. Maybe you can teeny tiny bit extend the legs, but I still want you to have the connection you have to make towards the thighs. So just staying there and getting a nice gentle stretch, very relaxing, dropping the head in between your knees and staying here. Two long deep breaths and see if you can exhale really deeply. So with the exhalation for the full moon or still the energy of the full moon, think of really releasing. Really letting go through the exhales. And then when you're ready, slowly gently lifting yourself up, nice and easy. Now bending the left knee, 
placing your next to your knee, hugging the knee in, I'm gonna twist so you can see you. And uh, hugging the knee in, so using the knee to lift and twist. Maybe if you want to take it deeper, you can walk the hands towards the, across the mat towards the other side if you've got more flexibility there. Still using the knee to keep yourself nice and uplifted, lengthening through the crown of your head. And breathing deeply here. Think of deep exhalation. Think of release as you exhale. Beautiful twist in your back. And then when you're ready, super slowly, gently release. Now we are gonna go for full extension towards your legs, super easy. Lifting up, flexing the feet, and then very gently place the hands next to your legs. If you are really tired, you're maybe finishing next to your knees, calves, or maybe way beyond behind your feet. And we will do a couple more, so inhale, reach up. Take it steady, so we just start it, and you just see, naturally, you might not have that much flexibility just yet, because the body is not rolled up properly. Inhale. So we're assessing how tight we might feel at the end of the day, and then just stay in here. So if you're really tight, you're gonna be a bit higher. You can relax the head, neck, and shoulders, and just go to your comfortable fold with the straight legs, yeah? If you want, you can very gently roll from one sitting bone to another. So as you're rolling from one sitting bone to another, think of really bringing the tummy towards your thighs. So you don't have to have drop, drop head down. You can just look towards the front, keeping the spine straight and just folding over. One more long deep breath in and out here. And then when you're ready, gently release. We are gonna do one more twist and stretch. Left hand grabs the, or left hand. Yeah, left hand grabs the right foot and extend up. If you can't fully straighten, that's fine. The other arm can be to the back or you can use it for a twist and walk it across your mat. So you are getting the stretch for your hamstring and the twist. Again, if you can't keep the leg straight, it's not a problem, just go to your, uh, within, the, within the comfort zone or maybe mild discomfort, holding here and breathing here. If you just had a dinner as me, it might not feel quite great. <laughs> so take it steady if you've got it ready, go to me, which you shouldn't have if you're doing yoga, you should do it. Hang on, empty stomach, and then you're ready, super slowly, gently release. Give yourself one more fold. One more fold, folding, and let's do the other side. So right hand on the left, outside of your left leg, lift and twist. You can bring the other arm for float or for the twist and walk it behind for a twist and stretch. Perfect, staying there and breathing. So we started straight with twists and hamstrings. And then when you're ready, super slowly, gently release. Now we're gonna go for a bit of core and balance. See if you can lift on your, lifting your legs, sitting on your coccyx. And you can hold yourself under the knees or you can keep the arms alongside your body. And then we are gonna tap the right leg down and extend the left. And we're gonna stay here. If you want to keep the uh, leg off the ground, having it parallel, you can. Otherwise, it's easier, tiny bit of time. And then gently release. If you find it tricky, hold yourself under the knees, yeah? So you can do it with the hold under the knees. And then gently release. And then maybe you can hold the legs and see if you can extend and balance. So since we are using the hands to hold, it's slightly easier than if we would let go, we would let go and fold tiny bit, yeah? So see if you can stay there. Just for a moment, if you can handle it, you can keep the legs parallel and then gently release. Let's do a little release. Uh, star seat, feet together, quite wide apart from your groin, and then grab your feet and give yourself a little bit of release. A couple of breaths. We will do two more things for the core and then we will start with the flow. So give yourself that moment of rest because then we will be floating. And concentrating on long deep inhalation and exhalation. 
bringing the head, using the muscles of your arms to bring yourself into a deeper stretch. If you want to, you can do a little bit of vagal somewhere there to feel into your hips. And then when you're ready, gently release. I'm gonna turn my prefer this side. Let's go on our back. So we will do something for the core, extending the legs on the ground, hands behind your head. And then what we're gonna do is bring the right knee in and elbow, left elbow towards the right knee. So it's super slow and we are gonna stay here. Keep crunching, holding, pressing lower back down on five. Four, keep the crunch, you might feel a little shake. Three, two, one, and then very gently release. Let's do the other side. So the other leg is fully on the ground, that way it's easier, but we are gonna actually crunch. So press the lower back down, engaging your core, your obliques there, reaching elbow towards the knee, and holding on four, three, two, one, and then gently release. Let's do one more time each side. Right elbow, left knee, hold. Holding on five, really crunching. So using your core to press the lower back into the floor whilst you twist it. Three, two, one, gently release. And last time, the opposite side, right elbow, left knee, crunch, lower back into the ground, holding there. Keep using your core, squeezing lower back down, three, two, one, and then gently release. Now the arms go parallel. So we have got T-shaped arms and lifting the right leg up, keeping the toes pointed. Don't worry if you can't lift too high up. Keep the legs straight. They are gonna be engaging core this way. Slowly lower down, and then same leg goes slowly up to your highest comfortable point. Slowly lower down, and slowly lifting up. Two more, slowly lower down, using your core, strengthening your legs to lift up. And one more time, lower down, and one more, lift up. Now holding the leg whilst we are here, why not to go into deeper stretch, grab your leg and do a couple of little pulses here. So working on the hamstrings, this is really easy since we are on the back, so it's quite Gentle, and you can work on the stretch here. Maybe a few more pulses than two. Let's do a couple more. And then when you're ready, gently release. Extending the legs on the ground, T-shaped arms, let's do it for the other side. So left leg lifts up. Try to keep both legs super strong and straight. So if you are not bending, your leg is gonna go a bit lower, but it's fine. Gently release. And inhale, slowly lift up. And try to engage the core. Try to keep the lower back pushing towards the ground. So feeling the muscles working as you're lifting the leg. Inhale, lift. And exhale, slowly, gently release. Try to ground through the heel on the ground. Inhale, lift. So you're working the core gently. And at the same time, your hamstrings. Very gently release. Couple more. Inhale, straight leg back towards the floor, and then gently release. Very last step, inhale, lifting up, and then grab your leg and give yourself a few pulses here. So warming up your hamstrings, very gently, within the comfortable range of motion, little pulses, yeah? So it's not into the pain, it's into the nice and easy, nice and easy few pulses, feeling that stretch. And then when you're ready, slowly, gently release. Inhale, reach the arms overhead, stretch, point the toes, point the fingers, and then extending the arms 45 degrees, lifting yourself up, and last time fold before we go for the flow. Folding one more time, now you can feel yourself getting tiny a little bit closer since we have been working with the hamstrings, and then when you're ready, gently release, cross over, and let's go into a tabletop position. Let's do nice and easy stretch for the shoulders. So nothing too intense for those of you who got jabs and have got pain for shoulder shoulders. Extending the arms forward, drop the elbows down, hands are shoulder width apart, drop the forehead down or drop the chin down and just staying here. I want you to take about four or five long deep breaths in and out. And after that, we go for a flow. So take it super steady. Feel your heart melting into the ground. 
and breathing deeply. Maybe you can swap in between chin and forehead a few times or staying relaxed. You can make it more intense by using the muscles of your back, pushing that bit, pushing the chest a bit closer to the ground, or you can completely soften and really just passive rest and relax. So it's up to you how much involvement of the muscles you put into this. And then when you're ready, slowly sliding yourself onto your heels and bring the arms alongside your body. Two long deep breaths here. And that's the end of the floor. Nice and easy floor stretch. So let's go into tabletop. Returning back into your tabletop, taking it easy for your first downward dog. So you can take a little stroll here, bending one knee at a time. I'm going to move my mat. And maybe you can extend through one heel to the floor and bring the other knee to the chest, keeping the spine straight and just working on one hamstring at a time. And again, you can feel it's getting much easier because we consistently are trying to lengthen the specific muscle. And then bend the other knee and extend, stretch the other leg and again, staying there for a moment. One knee to the chest and the other heel is reaching towards the floor. And then both heels down and a few times, inhale on your toes and exhale, sinking through the heels down. Couple more if that feels okay. If some of your shoulders, some of you have got painful shoulders, you can take a mini break in the child's pose. So you don't strain yourself after vaccination. And then when you're ready, inhale, look ahead. You can step, walk, or you can jump forward, hands towards the floor, spread the toes, spread the fingers, and then see you can bring the nose towards your knees, keeping the knees slightly bent and feeling the stretch in your lower back here, nicely stretching, maybe hugging yourself under the knees. And then see if you can straighten the legs a few times. So you can bend and gently straighten just to the point when it feels comfortable for you. So you can have some sense of, okay, this is tight and oh, this is released. So stretch and straighten. And then when you're ready, very gently placing the right hand down, you can bend the knees, open the left arm, maybe straighten the left leg again, hamstrings and twisting in wall. Holding here for a moment. Maybe think of that release you get through the exhalation, letting go here. And then gently return down. You can again start with the bend knees, the right hand into the ground, open the right arm up. Maybe you can straighten the right leg and stay for another two long deep breaths in and out. And then gently release. From here, slowly unrolling vertebra by vertebra up. I'm gonna move the camera so I can be there with my head. Reaching the arms overhead. And then exhale, fold. Press the floor away, nose into your knees. Let's do a couple more. Inhale, reaching up and over, stretch. And then exhale, fold and release. We'll do one more time. Inhale, reaching up and over. Think of opening your heart rather than bending in your lower back. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Now on exhale, stepping back through the left foot. Starting in the lunge. So have a nice low lunge here. Keep the left knee off the ground. Hands are firm in your foot. And then on inhale, lifting up. So nice lifting into your high lunge. And from here, we are gonna open the lunge to the right and holding there, breathing here. Keep the palms open to the side, perfect. And then on exhale, grounding the left hand under the left shoulder and reaching through the right arm up. Holding just for a moment. And then release the hands down. And then see if you can lift into the pyramid on your toe. 
So you've got back toes just under, so not your typical pyramid. If you can straighten the leg, that's fine. You can keep the knee slightly bent. Stay here for a moment. See if you can relax head, neck and shoulders. So even if you've got bent knee, see if you can give it a bit of relaxing the shoulders and head. And then when you're ready, inhale. You're gonna open into warrior one. So ground your back foot, so it's diagonally towards your front corner. And we are gonna stretch the shoulder. So you've got the right knee forward, bring the left palm on the spine and push the left elbow down. So getting a nice stretch here. So warrior one pose, holding and breathing. Feeling the stretch opening your chest, working with your shoulders here, opening your shoulder. Then on inhale, reach the arms up, turn on the ball of your foot and you're gonna step forward. You can actually bring the hands forward towards your chest. I'm saying that because I have a door in front of me, but you can keep the arms up and we're gonna float into warrior three. So lifting your back leg into the air, keeping the hands to the Push into your stand room or if you have enough space, you can extend the arms forward or you can even have them outside your body or interlace them behind your body. See, so we can challenge ourselves for one more breath here. Gazing down. Hand and then ready. You can return the hands towards your chest and very slowly step yourself into your warrior two. Perfect. Holding for a moment, gazing ahead. Nice and strong warrior. And from here, then melt the hands down, stepping yourself back and take it steady with your shoulders. Here, after injection, you can lower the knees down very slowly, lower yourself down. And super gently, maybe take it through baby cobra so you don't have to involve the power so much. Otherwise, cobra or upward dog, just for a moment. So pick the version you like, opening the chest, shoulders are down, if you are in your upward dog or cobra, and then either flipping your toes or taking it through the tabletop, and back we go into downward dog, grounding yourself through the heels, head is in between your arms, and taking three long deep breaths in and out. And maybe you see you can exhale through the mouth to really let go. And then when you're ready, look ahead, step forward, jump or walk. Exhale, fold here, press the floor away, nose into your knees. Inhale, reaching up and over to open the chest. And then exhale, fold, and we go straight for the other side. Inhale, half lift, and then stepping back through the right foot. So we stay in the lunge, holding here, hands are framing your front foot. Nice and strong, opening in your chest, facing ahead, don't drop the head down. And from here, then you start to feel stable, lifting up into high lunge. So pushing through the back heel, don't let the knee drop. So you're strengthening that back leg really nicely here. And then when you're ready, twist to the left. So it's quite static tonight. And we are gonna release, let the head down in various folds, holding there and breathing, palms are to the side. And then floating the right hand under the right shoulder, reaching through the left arm up, pausing here for a moment. Long deep breathing. And then releasing the hand down. Keep the back foot as it is. We are going to do variation on the pyramid pose. So see if you can extend the front leg. If you can extend, just keep your maximum extension, maximum comfortable extension. If you are more bendy, you can even lift the heel up. And just give yourself a few moments here, dropping the head, neck, and shoulders. Relax. So you don't have to make it super intense. But in mind, you want to square the hips. Sometimes they kind of want to go sideways, which is a bit easier if they go to the left. So try to return them back. 
and from here inhale lifting into your warrior so shift your back foot so it's like a diagonal you've got more balance here for your warrior and then right palm goes on your spine and then push the elbow down so you're getting nice stretch whilst you're holding your strong and empowering warrior opening your heart breathing pausing here for a moment feel that nice stretch in your shoulder and then with inhale reach the arms up and you can decide what warrior you want to do either with the hands towards your chest or if you've got space to flow forward you can so you can step yourself forward easier option and then lift oops lift the back leg off find your balance gazing towards one spot Drishti point here, flexing your back foot. Notice that little wobble on the side of all the corners of your foot. See if you can do one more breath, finding your stillness here. And then when ready, slowly, gently stepping yourself back and open in your warrior to finding your balance. If you need to adjust, adjust yourself. Check your arms so they are parallel. One more breath here. If you want it more intense, you can really widen the stance and make the warrior super low. And then on exhale, windmill the hands down and step yourself back into your plank position. And then your own option of Chaturanga. And in your own time, any back bend you feel like doing, so baby cobra, cobra, or upward dog, and then returning either through the tabletop or straight into your downward dog. Three long deep breaths here, maybe shaking the head, saying yes a few times. Give yourself time here to really relax, concentrating on each exhalation, maybe exhaling through the mouth. And then when you're ready, return into the front in your own way. So stop, step, hop, jump, anything you like. Press the floor, nose into your knees. Inhale, reach up and over. Stretch and then exhale, folding down. Now stepping yourself to the side. Any position for a wide angle so you can see me. So you can get towards the camera. And then we are gonna bring the hands towards the waist and lifting yourself up, feet slightly outwards. So we are gonna go into the goddess pose. But before we go into the goddess pose, let's do the stretch for the shoulders. So grab the elbows above the head in this goddess squat. And just a few times, gently we go side to side as you sinking down. So you can feel that stretch in your thighs. So a few times, Gently. If it's too much, you can always be moving slightly higher up. It's up to you how much you challenge yourself. And then see if you can do five little pauses. One, two, three. Nice straight back. Four, five. Then bring the arms into the cactus version. And holding here, see if you can lift the left heel off. And holding here for a moment. Then release the right heel off. Holding here for a moment, then release. Then see if you can lift both heels up. Slightly challenging. If not, don't worry. And then gently release. Extend the legs and slowly slide the hands on the side of your legs, thighs, calves, wherever you can reach. And then just drop the head down. If you want, you can make the stance slightly more narrow so you don't bang your head. You grab the elbows. And we are going to rock down here, side to side. Rock down side to side, really release. Maybe you can go back and forth. You have got space now to be going forward and back in between legs and forward. Or you can be bouncing up and down. If you need to, you can bend the knees. And you can have the stance slightly more narrow, so not completely usual fold, not very wide angle either. So something in between, so when you flying forward and back, you have got some space to go 
forward and back. Beautiful. Releasing all the tension in the spine, making extra space between the vertebras. And maybe then when you are just hanging, see if you can move the hips side to side. Notice how that works for your hamstrings. So it's like you're wiggling your tail whilst your torso is hanging down. And then when you're ready, super slowly, gently release. Walk the hands slightly forward. And there we go again for a twist, opening the left arm up. If you want a bit of deeper twist, you can wrap and bind the arm around on the opposite thigh, but don't forget to open the chest actually to the side. And also don't send the hips too much to the, to the side. Beautiful. One more breath here. See if you can go for a deep exhalation. Release and return down. Beautiful. Let's do the other side. Inhale, open up. Choice to wrapping around, binding around, hooking on the opposite thigh. Again, don't let the hips go sideways. Really square them and open the chest to the side. So you are targeting how much you want to feel the stretch on the side of your body, taking it super easy. One more breath here. And then when you are ready, slowly, gently release back down. Beautiful. Step yourself back towards the front of your mat. And we are gonna step the left foot back, dropping the left knee down, flatten your foot, and then inhale, reaching the arms up and turn them to the back, big circle, interlace the fingertips behind and stretching the front of your hip, holding here and breathing. Beautiful. You can reach the ground, you can touch the ground without intertwining your fingertips. So main thing is that you can feel the stretch at the top of your hip, tucking the tailbone under. So you're actively pushing that hip forward and down. See if you can stay one more breath in and out. And then when you're ready, inhale, lifting up. And then exhale into half split. So extend. And a few times you can maybe roll on your heel there and back, just taking it super steady, super easy. Should be easy for us. We have done so much for the hamstrings. And let's see if we can walk the hands across to the right side and drop the head down. So if you are really tight, you're just going to be slightly higher. You'll still feel the stretch on the side of your body and your higher hamstring. Staying there for a moment. And then when you're ready, very slowly, gently return back to the center. Hands are framing your foot, tuck your toes under and step forward. Swap the legs, stepping the right back, drop the right knee down, flatten your foot, inhale, reaching up, take the arms up and over, interlace, open the chest, pushing the front hip forward, Getting a nice stretch here and breathing. If you want to, one can reach to the floor, you can reach the floor. And see, you can take one more long deep breath in and out, opening your chest and getting nice hip flexor lengthening. Release the arms, inhale, reach up, and then exhale, fold. So extending into half split. Few times roll back and forth on your heel, nice and easy. And then you can try to bring the toes down and walk the hands across towards the left side. Drop the head down and relax here. Staying here for a couple of breaths. I'm gonna check time. Oops. And then when you're ready, very gently lifting yourself back, bring the hands next to your foot and stepping yourself back. You're not going to do a couple of things on the ground, crossing over and you're going to stretch the glutes. Someone ask for them. So what we're going to do is cow, fa cow, cow face pose, right knee on the top. 
So I'm not gonna be mirroring you. It might not be perfect. If you put lots of tightness, this is your cow face. You are not gonna have to be one above the other and that's totally fine. You will still feel beautiful stretch you need to feel. So whatever version you've got there, just folding yourself gently over. So even if your knee is high up and it's kind of foot doesn't want to go to the next to the hip, just think of that version bring it a bit closer to the point where you can and it feels doable to slightly fall and then just slightly folding for some people it's gonna be easy for some people it's gonna be tough because the flexibility needs to be developed there so take a moment drop the head down relax the shoulders again if you're higher it might look like this and just breathing this is amazing stretch for your glutes and for your hips and then maybe see you can extend the arms forward so you're reaching forward as you're dropping the head down, feeling the stretch in your hips. At least long or too long deep breaths in and out. And then we are gonna walk the hands towards the right side. Drop the head down in between your arms. Feel the stretch in your hips again. Maybe now on the other side. And if your knee is higher up, this is the way how it's gonna look like. And it will still give you the stretch. And then walk yourself across to the other side. So you might feel slightly different stretch on this side. You will feel it more on your, your right torso side than so much of the hips. And then when you're ready, very gently walking yourself back to the center. You're gonna have a little balance in action before you do the other side. So grab your feet from inside or you can grab your toes with index finger and your, your middle finger and we will have a little bit of balancing action. So if you, can, you cannot straighten the leg, you are still going to look like this and you still are going to be balancing. If you can straighten the leg, maybe roll down, that's totally fine, you can roll yourself up and you're going to hold here. So notice how it feels like when you push the chest forward, you can have a little play to open your Hard here, maybe you can bring the legs a bit closer together so you're getting lost for your hamstrings, but at the same time, balance and the core. So you can try a few times and go for your maximum. And then when you're ready, see so you can bring the knees together towards yourself and the head right on the top, let's do left on the top. So cross over the other way around. Again, if you don't have much flexibility, it might look like this. So the knees are not going to be aligned and that's totally fine. Just see if you can fold yourself, feeling that stretch wherever you need to feel it. And see if you can just settle yourself down with a couple of breaths. So dropping the head down, relaxing, softening the shoulders. And then we will take it forward and to each side as well. So super stretchy class tonight. And then extend the arms forward and stretch them. Again, if you're tight, it might not look um, maybe completely the way you would like, but you enjoy the stretch while you are. And then walking the hands to the left, feeling the stretch in your hip, in your torso. Couple of breaths here, drop the head in between your shoulders, relax. Perfect. And then when you're ready, walk yourself through the center towards the other side. And again, drop the head down in between your arms and relax. Give yourself deep breaths here. And then when you're ready, very slowly, gently return back to the center. You're gonna uncross the legs, coming onto your knees. You're gonna do something for the back, nice little flow for the back. Extending, so you can involve all the parts of the body. Extending the arms forward. And then lifting into your tabletop and opening in your uh, cobra. We'll do a couple more. So on exhale, rounding the spine, sitting on your heels, drop the forehead down. Notice what is happening in your spine and in your shoulders. Inhale, rounding the back. And then as you reach with the shoulders above the wrists, open the chest. 
Noticing how your spine moves. Let's do one more. Exhale, rounding the back, sitting on your heels, extend the arms, forehead to the ground. And very last time, inhale, rolling forward, opening the chest. And then staying here for a moment. Maybe you can look towards your left side of the room or over the shoulder to check the left heel. And then very slowly return and check the other side. So checking the heel or the other side of the room. And then very gently, you're gonna lower down. Beautiful. Placing the hands under the shoulders or next to your chest. Elbows are up. You're gonna do a few cobrados. So working the muscles of your back. Inhale very gently lift. So I don't want you to lift fully. I want you to have 50% of the back muscles engaged and 50% arms. And then very gently release. And let's do three more. Inhale, lift to the point you can feel your engaging middle back muscles. Strong lower back. Exhale, release. Let's do two more. Inhale, lift. So nicely, gently working your back muscles. And maybe triceps too. Exhale, release. Last time, inhale, lift up. You see, you can stay here. So you can feel it now in your arms. Maybe you can go teeny tiny bit lower down, teeny tiny bit higher up. So you can go teeny tiny bit down, teeny tiny bit up. Last time, can feel it in my arms, lifting up and release. Beautiful. Now elbows under the shoulders for the sphinx pose. If you know your uh, middle back is completely flat, you might not feel quite comfortable with the elbows under the shoulders. So maybe place them slightly further forward. And as you're holding your sphinx, or sphinx position, you're gonna bring the left foot towards the glute and see if you can look towards the left side. Just very gently. At the same time, keep pushing the chest forward, getting the elbows towards the rib cage. So we are building up the flexibility in the middle back muscles. And then in the middle back, then gently release. And then bring the right foot towards the right glute. And again, engaging the middle back muscles, building the flexibility in the middle back. And then gently release. Still pushing the floor away, still pressing elbows into the uh, floor and towards the ribcage and then lifting both feet up. So you can maybe slightly separate the knees. It's slightly more comfortable to hold big toes together and keep gazing forward. Think of sliding yourself forward using the forearms and holding here. Give yourself a moment to adjust to long deep breaths in and out. Actively pressing the floor away, actively pushing the chest forward, making our back healthy and strong. And then when you're ready, super slowly release. You're gonna release lower back, placing the hands on top of each other, lifting the feet up, head, forehead on the hands, and just the windshield wipers with your legs. So really. Relax the lower back here. You think you're massaging your quads now, so it feels quite nice. Nice side to side. And then when you're ready, releasing the feet down, hands under the shoulders, you're gonna take a little release in the child's pose or maybe embryo pose. Hands alongside your body and Facing up, give yourself a little breather here. One more breath. And then when you're ready, gently coming onto your back. Inversion of your choice, I can't believe time flies. I had so many things prepared, but we have dedicated time to twisting and hamstrings. Either legs up the wall, if you want to go for shoulder stand or headstand, you can go. So give yourself safe and comfortable. It's after all, it's evening, so we don't want to wake up the body too much. Maybe just settle with the feet up. Try to keep the knees together, whether you're doing shoulder stand or uh, uh, legs up the wall, Vitali Takarani. And just staying here. Maybe you can point and flex your feet a few times. If you are having legs up, maybe you can bring the hands behind your head, feeling nice opening in your shoulders. You can really flatten the middle back. 
And then maybe either if you're doing shoulder stand, you can still do some circling with your feet a few times. Or you can do one leg behind the head, the other leg behind the head. You can have a play or keeping it simple, depending how you feel tonight. And then when you're ready, in your own time, super slowly, gently releasing, and see if you can release without banging the hips if you're returning from the shoulder stand. And just gently hug your knees and very slowly curl side to side, just nice and easy, gentle rolling. And the last pose we will do will be happy baby to release the hips and lower back. So bring the feet up from the inside of the soles and very gently roll side to side, releasing and stretching the inner thighs and trying to push the knees down by pushing the soles of your feet down, ideally 90 degrees under your knees and the feet up to the ceiling. So see if you can achieve that. If you want to be rolling side to side, you can think of massaging your back, or you can be static and try to work those middle back muscles again. See if you can bring the chin in slightly. So you must create some triple chains, but it's okay for this now. And as you're bringing the chin in, feel how you're lengthening the spine. So majority of your back, of your spine is completely flat on the ground. You can feel your lower back on the floor, and you can feel as you bring the chin in, you can feel something is happening in the muscles in the middle back. So notice how that feels, how you're stretching them and strengthening them. Keep pushing the chin down towards the chest. Keep noticing the muscle engagement along the spine. And then you can relax and release. Few more wiggles with your knees, and then bringing the arms, legs up. Give yourself a little shake. Think of releasing, releasing all your need, doubts and fears, maybe pains and suffering, all the negativity, overthinking, limiting beliefs, pains in the muscles. And then when you're ready, last hook, hugging yourself, giving your knees a nice big hug. You can kiss your knees if you like. And then when you're ready, release for the relaxation, either in Shavasana or you can start with your God space. And I'm gonna guide you through some body awareness, energy and breath awareness. So make yourself feel nice and comfortable. Let your body settle so you can wiggle your shoulders, your hips if you feel like it. You can imagine you are digging the body shape into the sand. And keeping the palms facing up and your feet falling sideways. Releasing and relaxing. Closing your eyes, taking a long deep breath in to start with. And then as you exhale, think of releasing everything that you don't need. Think of relaxing and letting go. And as always, we are going to connect with the mind, with the body, with the spirit. Bring the attention and the awareness into your head, into your mind. Just notice what is on your mind right now. Notice your thoughts. And be aware that you are not your thoughts. You are the consciousness beyond it all. You are in the space in between your thoughts. So just acknowledging the fact that the thoughts will be coming and going, that it's not gonna disturb you, you can let go. And then bring the awareness into the breath. The breath is your spirit. So connecting with your breath, noticing the length of each inhalation and exhalation. Noticing your chest and your abdomen raising and falling with each inhale and exhale. And 
Noticing that expansion throughout the body as you inhale. And notice that softening, the relaxing feeling as you exhale. And bring the attention even further. Just notice the fresh air passing through your nostrils. Notice the sensation. Notice the temperature of the air, maybe the smell in the room. Notice the sound of your body breathing. Just linger there with the attention on the sound of your breath. And then very gently, shift the awareness into your physical body. You are going to reconnect with each and every part of you. Create the connection. Notice the sensation of the clothing on your skin. Notice the temperature of the room through your skin. Notice the hardness of the floor underneath you. Then bring the awareness into your feet, into your soles, into your toes. And consciously release all the tension you have been holding there. Allow your feet to rest and relax. Feel the heaviness of your heels sinking into the floor. And then bring the awareness into your ankles, into your calves, your shins, your knees, your thighs. And allow your legs to fully rest and relax. And then bring the awareness into your hips, your pelvis, your glutes, and consciously release all the tension you have been holding there, soften, relax. Allow your hips to fully rest. And then bring the attention and your awareness in your, into your back and into your spine and consciously release all the tension you have been holding in your back and all your back muscles and feel your spine realigning with the floor. Think of releasing all the tension you have been holding in your back. Soften, rest, relax your back muscles. And then gently shifting the attention and the awareness into your chest and into your abdomen. And consciously release all the tension you have been holding there. Allow your chest and your abdomen to rest and relax. Then bring the attention and the awareness into your heart. And think of releasing all the heavy energy you have been gathering there, either consciously or subconsciously. Think of Letting all the emotional blockages and trauma release, let go. Then shift the attention and the awareness into your hands, into your palms, your fingers, your fingertips. And consciously release all the tension you have been holding in your hands. Allow them to rest and relax. And then gently shift the attention and the awareness into your forearms, your elbows, your upper arms. And allow your arms to fully rest and relax, release. And then gently shifting the attention and the awareness into your shoulders, your collarbones and your upper back. And consciously release all the tension you have been holding there. I think of releasing all that heavy energy, the heaviness of the 
Walls you come on your shoulders, all the stresses, workload, to do lists, everything you don't need, you don't let go, release, get rid of it. And just sense and feel the relaxation flowing across your chest and shoulders, bringing a bit of peace. And then eventually bring the attention and the awareness into your head and feel the heaviness of your head sinking down, head full of thoughts most of the time. Allow your head to fully rest. Soften your neck and all the neck muscles, carrying that heavy load. Release. And then think of relaxing your scalp, your hairline. And releasing all the tension you have been holding in your facial muscles, in your mind, in your brain. Think of letting everything go, releasing all that overthinking, negative thinking, maybe anxiety, maybe depressive thoughts. Think of letting it all go. Think of getting rid of it. And then just soften your forehead, soften your eyebrows, all the muscles around your eyes, soften your eyelids, your cheeks, your lips, unclench your teeth, and then relax your tongue, soften your jaw and your chin. Feel your physical body completely relaxed, resting in stillness, recharging and rejuvenating. Then sensing and feeling the heaviness of your physical body sinking into the floor. You can start to be aware of your energy body, feeling the energy in your legs, maybe a little buzzing or heat or lightness and feeling the energy, energy body through your chest, your abdomen, feeling it getting lighter, buzzing not feeling heat, sensation of the energy within you. And feel the energy through your arms, feeling the energy in your arms, and then eventually feeling the energy in your head. And connect the bits, feel the energy body inside, feel the energy you are. And maybe with each inhale and exhale, you can let this energy body expand so you can expand outside of your physical body. And each time it expands, it's getting stronger and more powerful. You can regain your balance, your equilibrium, your health, everything you need. Just a few more inhales and exhales, strengthening yourself from inside out, strengthening your energy, your power. And then as you take a long deep breath in, feeling your energy body sinking, linking fully with your physical body. You can start to wiggle your toes and fingers. Feeling the energy in the room, everything around you. On inhale, expand the arms overhead and super stretch, fully bringing yourself into the presence, into the present moment and absorbing the present moment fully back in. And then very gently releasing the arms alongside your body and take your time slowly turning on to your right side. And this is the time when we Try to not to rush and slow down. So just take your time, staying on your right side, taking a moment to acknowledge how you feel at the moment. Take a moment to appreciate each and every breath you take, everything and everyone in your life. Everything you do for yourself, for your mind, for your body to support the journey you are on. Then very gently, you can slowly start to climb yourself up into a seated position of your choice. So taking it super steady, easily, nice and slow. And as always, you're gonna finish with a bit of energy 
healing, recharging, rebalancing. So that in the comes together, as much as you can until you can feel heat, you feel a bit cool in the room like I am. It might take a bit of time to start to generate some heat. And then you can rebalance whatever you need to rebalance. If you have been mentally overloaded, you can support yourself there emotionally, your heart, and maybe even solar plexus if you feel more support for feeling stronger. Or if you've got any injuries, the vaccine jabs, you can place the hands there and just let the magic happen, setting the intention, and being your own healer. Being focused, it's about the focus. And then when ready, placing the palms back together, fingertips on the fingertips as you reach up. Think of connecting with your higher self, with the universe, with the God, with everything that you think is out there, be beyond, bigger than you. You can draw the energy from and then bring the hands towards your third eye to bring more wisdom and understanding your life path and life journey. And then as you connect with your heart, think of bringing more love, kindness, compassion into your life and consequently into other people's lives. And namaste. Thank you for joining me. Hope you feel nicely stretched and hope to see you again soon. Lots of love.